Hello, I'm Jody Aaron. This is my YouTube presentation for EDC 1200 Self Education and Society. This presentation will provide a brief view of the effect of the Haiti earthquake. The intention of this video clip is to demonstrate how a current event could be the basis of a curriculum for teaching children about difference and diversity. As you move through the video, we will explore in more detail suggestions strategies for incorporating all areas of curriculum, focusing from one event. We will look at some tasks that students could complete to provide methods of how this topic could be taught. We will explore a variety of strategies using a current event in all areas of curriculum to further develop research skills, gain a greater awareness of the different resources, both man and material, that Australia has compared to Haiti. It will also develop mathematical concepts through comparing housing solutions and costing comparisons. What happened to Haiti? On Tuesday the 12th of January 2010, all major buildings including offices, hotels and shops collapsed when a massive earthquake hit Haiti's capital, burying hundreds of people and destroying many houses, cars, buildings and businesses. The following photos will present the devastation that Haiti is presently experiencing. Here in this photo we can see the sheer volume of destruction food or waterborne diseases will be a major problem because of the limited if any drainage and sewage systems. The initial days after the earthquake were all about survival, dig digging people out of the rubble and dealing with crush injuries but there are also ongoing dangers of injury from collapsing and broken buildings. To help cope with the many thousands of injured, maimed and the dead, inflatable hospitals have been erected in Haiti. Also, a US Navy hospital ship has been moored outside Port-au-Prince's harbour to help those most seriously injured by the earthquake. Some are lucky to have found their children and family members. The photo on the left was once a church, the one on the right an older lady possibly still searching. In this photo we can see that presidential buildings and businesses have not avoided the destruction. This level of damage will take many pair. In this photo we can see a large proportion of people left homeless and with nowhere to go. Due to damage caused by the earthquake and its powerful aftershocks, electricity was out and other forms of communication have been disrupted. In this photo you can see a wider view of the devastating destruction. Psychological damage. Physical wounds are of course not the only issue. There will also be psychological scars. Professor Richard Williams, lead officer for disaster management at the Royal College of Psychiatrists, said most people, children and adults, will experience fear, anxiety, guilt, disorientation, hopelessness and other related feelings within the first few days of disaster. There are unclear adoption rules at present, there are no formalised adoption processes and the United Nations suggests that this becomes a priority. Child trafficking from predators due to lack of adults or family members to collect children from hospitals etc becomes a large risk. Trauma may become a problem from lack of counsellors, psychologists etc to help with the healing process. Malnutrition from lack of food and clean drinkable water an increased risk of disease from water and airborne diseases, lack of hygienic facilities and medical aid. There's an estimated one million unaccompanied or orphan children or children who lost one parent, said Kate Conrad, a spokeswoman for the aid group Save the Children. They are extremely vulnerable. Makeshift housing has started to provide some assistance and give some sense to the people of Haiti, personal space and privacy, allowing them to mourn and begin to rebuild their lives. In using this situation for curriculum, inf children will learn information technology. They will also learn how to use websites to research material. They will learn basic Microsoft applications to build their projects. English could further be developed in areas of reading, writing, sentence structure and grammar and spelling. Mathematical concepts for costing out resources for assisting with the current crisis. We could extend maths to include money conversions from Australia to Haiti. Understanding the difference between income in Haiti to Australia.
We could have open discussions on how we as a class or school and possibly the local community could possibly make a difference or help ease the crisis. Talking about where to find the resources needed for each suggestion and possibly choose one or two to work on and the best way to go about it. This would encourage children to speak up and put forward their ideas, building their confidence. We could find where Haiti is on a world map or globe, introducing geography. The class or individual could do a research project on earthquakes and how they happen, bringing in science. They could also bring in art with building projects or drawings of what they have seen, their feelings and thoughts, or building their own miniature cities using different materials to find out what could be stronger. For example, paddle pop sticks, blocks or straws. This slide is a list of some of the possible topics that could be used for an open discussion and to extend to further activities. Children are exposed to media and often we don't realise the implications and effects this level of exposure can have. Children could be taught to deal with the traumatic graphic images and to put them into some perspective. By talking out loud we could monitor how children are coping. We could teach them empathy and also to appreciate the things that they have here like free access to medical aid, clean water, nutritious food, government aid, access to building materials and skilled workers. Children could explore the way Haiti people live, the types of housing they live in, the foods that they eat, religion and other games children play, whether they attend school and what ages they might start and finish. Some possible ways or suggestions for our class school and possibly the local community to help could help are fundraisers like free dress day or the 40 hour famine and sausage sizzles donations of old educational resources such as books, writing materials, clothes, blankets and toys, a child sponsorship from possibly the class or the school, a pen pal writing. Children of each class could choose to write to children from Haiti to learn about their culture that way. These activities could show the children that no matter how or small or irrelevant something may seem in someone's life. It could make a huge difference in someone else's. Thank you for taking the time to view my presentation. Bye for now.